Yes. And he thought it was something to do with the, perhaps the way matter um, oscillates, like little little oscillators, we call them now, uh, harmonic oscillators in 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 the in the stuff that emits the light. It was something to do with that kind of a mathematical trick. He didn't certainly at the time uh, think that what was being implied was that light really can be pictured as a stream of particles with an energy proportional to their frequency. He, he didn't think that at all. Einstein, in 1905, wrote a very beautiful paper for which he subsequently got the Nobel Prize. This is the same year that he wrote the Special Theory of Relativity and a very famous paper on Brownian motion. But it's a, a, the theory for which he was most, <laughs> I suppose, well known at the time. Um, it's a theory of something called the photoelectric effect. So the photoelectric effect is, again, it's an experimental observation that uh, if you shine light on, on a, a piece of metal, let's say, some substance, then the light can hit the substance and cause electrons to be emitted from the substance, from the, from the metal. But what was observed was that if the light is too long a wavelength or too, too low a frequency, then no matter how bright the light, then you can, you can make it brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter, no electrons are emitted. This is a, a mystery. If you think of light as just delivering energy to something uh, and just a, a not like a stream of little particles, then it would seem that if you turn the intensity up, brighter light, then you'd...